is uh, Union Pacific Omaha here, and today we have another layout update. You know how I am. I'm constantly changing things. I'm not happy with things. I want to, you know, move things around and keep it interesting. So let's take a look at the changes that we have for today. So first of all, um, there used to be an industry over here. Um, let's see, there was there was two um, right here, the switch. There was two track. Um, no, there was just a piece of track that came off right here. And there was a track here and a track here, and there was an industry building right there. Um, that has been moved. It's now over here. Um, this is where the engine facility used to be, and I found a new home for it. So, um, <clears throat> um, so now we have the industry building here. Here's our obviously the yard office. Here's the, where the industry is. We have a nice little uh, cut for to put our cars for the industry, and then um, this used to just stop right there. And the grain uh, for the grain elevator track used to go, come off right through here. It would have to go if to get the cars. You'd have to go through the um, engine facility, take a curve, and then into there. That's been eliminated, and now it's just it comes off this switch straight into um, the grain elevator, which we have two cars sitting over here right now. Um, speaking of cars, um, I did a little trade with Owen the Train Man. Um, make sure you go subscribe to him. Good content, good guy. Um, so. And uh, I gave him my KCS Operator Scale Trains Auto Rack because it didn't fit my layout too well and it was it couldn't take the tight curves. So um, here's the cars I got out of it. So this is a Walther's Mainline um, Air Slide Hopper uh, for Wonder Bread and Hosties Cakes. He's done a little bit of weathering on it and put that. I think it's supposed to be like a bunny. That's neat. I just noticed that. So yeah, um, looks good. Happy to have this car on the layout as well as a. Um, I believe this is a Bachman, uh, um, Canadian National Hopper. He's done like some rust weathering on it too, so that, I like that. So um, these are the <clears throat> these are the two new cars to the layout. So um, let's take a look over here now. What we have going over here. So uh, the main primary yard is the same, um, but then off of here we have uh, two switches. This one uh, will go into the engine facility. We have two tracks. So here's 7500 is idling, and 2304 is just sitting in there. Which he fits in. There's his rear end right there. He fits in this. I can even push him back a little more. Yeah, he fits in this um, in this engine facility perfectly. I wish it was a little longer to accommodate big GEs like uh, the, like the, this ES44 AC and the Southern Pacific Dash 9, but it doesn't. So I'm not gonna complain. I still like it a lot. And then um, I have like a little storage track for other locomotives right here. And then there's just yeah, there's just. Um, those right there this track here can be used for storage or something which, uh, which I'm gonna move this um, like refueling thing right here and this can be our refueling track as well so um, <clears throat> this is supposed to be just a small little update operating session coming soon so I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, just a quick little update and so the two new cars so thanks for watching Union Pacific Omaha out